Uh, so I just wanted to show how I'm connecting my YAS instance to a front end with Node.js and um, Express. Now, I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it or the correct way of doing it. It's just kind of me hacking at it and um, getting it <laughs> working with Node.js. Uh, a lot of people are asking, how do you connect it to um, a front end? How do you connect EOS to a front end? Um, and there is there is uh, EOSJS, which is a general purpose library for the EOS blockchain with uh, JavaScript, obviously. And uh, I believe they have one working for Dawn 3X. I haven't used this yet. Uh, I'll probably should go read through this. This is probably the correct way of doing so. And I'm just sort of hacking at it with Node.js. Um, coming over here, I'm using the RPC interface uh, API. It just shows you all the uh, requests you can send to it. Uh, the b most basic ones being like get info for the blockchain and um, getting accounts and stuff. And that's what I have working. So I'll just kind of show you what I got. Uh, this isn't really a tutorial or anything because I don't know if I'm doing it correctly. I'm just doing my own, uh, doing it my own way, I guess. Uh, it could be completely incorrect, but I'll just show you. Maybe it can give you guys an idea of uh, uh, how to, you know, just uh, ways of doing it, and maybe you can uh, come up with a better way and uh, show me. That'd be great. But anyways, I'll, uh, I have a virtual machine going, um, Ubuntu 17.10, uh, the adapter settings, um, I'm using the host adapter, and this is started already over here, and all I'm going to run, well, let me show you my configuration file, that, up. Oh, it's not here, so, yeah, here we go. So, yeah, I just have my HTTP server address. Uh, listening on anything at port 8888 and then I just run an EOS um, I just run an instance of the node EOS and this is going and then over back on Windows um, I have uh, node.js so let me just show you it's a node app.js and then here's just a uh, really dinky basic example of what's going on so um, here's a web page that's uh, on uh, you know my local host here that um, it's getting it's, it's actually doing two things the first thing you can see here is when I refresh here it's getting the latest block header so you can see here we're like six nine two two three and if you actually look over at the node here we're like six nine two two you know two two three down here so that's just getting the block headers, just pulling that from the um, database. And then I also have a little uh, get in account. So you can put in like EOSIO. And then this sends the account or gets the account EOSIO and it gets the active public key from the blockchain. And that's just, I have a couple, I have a, I have a user account. These are account names. So this is how you get um, getting account names. So it's really not doing anything. It's just kind of a demonstration. I have another account called Hello. If I get this one, it just shows you the public active key. EOS 7Z ends in L7. And just to show you, if I come over here and I use... Yeah, here it is right here. But Cleos, get account, Hello, 7, EOS 7Z, L7. And that's the active key. So... All this is, it's just, um, let's see if I can pull this over. Just a few files, an app.js file inside here. I just have a, a home in the show. This is the show right here in the home. You go back, it's just this page here. Um, and yeah, let me show you the app.js file. So this is all just using Express and uh, uh, the HTTP. So I have um, uh, two global variables here, account name and active key. And uh, I'll show you these functions. We'll get back to those. You come down here. We have the uh, get, get the home page, um, get the show page and post to the show page. So whenever I go get the home page, which is basically just calling this get request here, all this is doing is we're calling this function get info. 
and then using this callback function here. So this get info coming up here um, goes ahead, passes in these options to what we're using as the uh, get info. So this is all the setup here. This is the um, IP address of my local host. Here's the port, and then here's the path, which is v1 chain get info. So this is coming from the um, uh, API over here, and a get request, obviously. So then this comes in here. This just parses through the JSON and uh, returns um, the block header. Well, actually, it calls this callback here with the results from this the get info and then that is what we use to get the ball lock header and obviously there's uh, tons of stuff right and I just grabbed the block header but it returns all this in JSON and you can just parse out whatever information you need and then it just renders that to the home page and the other thing here this is the uh, so you put in a username like EOSIO and then when I send this over this is on the home page this basically does a post to show which then um, actually calls this other method called this post account which is this is what's doing the actual post to the EOS blockchain or this is just you know my test instance on my virtual machine but same thing applies here uh, IP um, port uh, this time I'm doing a get and count with a post and then uh, passing in this JSON string which in this case is whatever username I typed in um, and then uh, whenever you when we write the JSON string to it it goes ahead um, post post that to the blockchain grabs the result and same thing callback function here and this is where I get the account name and then I kind of dig through the JSON and I get the um, active key so there's, and again, this is, you get a whole bunch of, uh, no, this is block. Get account, yeah, so you get, a, you get, I mean, you get the whole JSON back and you just kind of pick and choose kind of what info you're using. So that's what I did. And that's basically all that this is doing. So there you go. I'm just using um, Node, obviously, and Express to get a front end for the my test instance of EOS. Uh, again, I have no idea if this is the right way of doing it. Maybe you should look into the EOSJS, but there's not a lot. Uh, a lot of people are having questions. How do you connect the front end to it? And just here's kind of a, how I started with it. And maybe you can get some ideas on, uh, better ideas on how to do this. Um, uh, stuff like that. that. So uh, there you go, guys.